Okay, uh, let's move on to create some command buttons. A command button, uh, we have already created one here. Uh, it's just a button that carries some mail or Python codes. So in preview tool or in animator mode, once we uh, click this button and release within this uh, command buttons, it will execute the code it carries. Okay. Um, it's pretty simple and straightforward. It's just uh, for script executing, no matter it's mail or Python. Okay, now we check out how to create a command button. Just like select button, uh, you can create a command button in multiple ways. First, you need to switch to the command button tool, and there's a hotkey C for that. Um, with command button tool activated, um, you can just left mouse button uh, click and drag to create one so like select buttons also uh, you can just double click to create one and keep in mind that this command button has no codes right now um, you can just double click to label them uh, now uh, maybe mt and type in some code here uh, say uh, confirm uh, message go 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 Okay, uh, so in preview tool, you just click this and execute this script. Um, another way to create a command button is uh, you can directly drag this shelf button down onto this picker panels. Okay, so you just drag this animator mode uh, booting codes here. And uh, keep in mind that uh, because Maya doesn't open its way to uh, how the this drag data being organized so uh, I can only access to its codes actually contains so uh, it won't inherit the icon this shell button use also if shell button is based on Python and you will still create codes uh, in mail so if it's Python codes you got to check out and switch to Python and another way to do this is uh, say we have already some codes here and we want to make these codes as a uh, command button. So we just select them and Control C copy them. We just active the command button tool and right click at command button from clipboard. Okay. So this way uh, I, I use this. It will execute the code we just copied. Um, yeah, this is a, another way to create a command button. You can just copy the code beforehand and switch to command button tool and use these features. Okay. Say uh, I want to create a command button to select all these nodes. Okay. Uh, basically, you just create them as select button. But if you want to create them as a command button, this is a way to do it. Highlight the command button tool and right click at command button for my selection. So you, now you can uh, use this command button to select all these controls. Just uh, now it serves like um, uh, select buttons. Okay. Um, so this is another way to create command button. But um, the most preferable way I in uh, I recommend you to create a command button is through this. command button presets okay and uh, this is really handy and because you don't need to type in the codes again uh, so we just use maybe switch to perspective and it will create the uh, command button for me uh, the low label will be auto generate and the code will be already made there so we, we just switch to the animator mode and switch this to side view and uh, we click this, it will switch to the uh, perspective view. So there's a whole lot of command button presets here list out. And all these command button presets can be created um, of your own. Uh, you can hide tear off the command button presets as a window. Um, for now, you can just uh, select some isolate none. And maybe selection select uh, kind of panel. So switch to the um, preview tool and select all uh, kind of panel. It will select all the nodes, including in this picker panel. Okay. Uh, these command buttons um, 
ready-made for you to use. Um, just dig in and check out all the what does these uh, buttons use. Okay, uh, you can also create your own command button presets by go to the misc create preset and code snippets. Uh, okay, we just create command button presets and type in codes, give you a name, give you a tool tip. Um, these tool tips will be uh, useful uh, when we hover the mouse over this button, right? So you just type in here and export. Uh, this will create a command button presets. And once you create that, um, in this right click menu, you can find the, the the command button preset you just created. Okay, um, so this is a recommended way to create a command button since you don't need to type in all these codes and they are generic enough uh, if you use the command button presets that is ready made from the NGPK Studio as a factory default command button presets. Um, you can create your own command button presets. So um, for other rigs, you don't need to recode this. I just use the command button presets. Okay. Um, another way to create a command button uh, is the uh, copy paste. Okay. Uh, so if I say uh, I like these command buttons, I just copy them and just paste them. And uh, along with this uh, menus being also copied and pasted. In MG Picker, um, command button can really be customized um, with different shapes and even carry the image, just like Maya buttons. Um, let's check out the killer picker I designed for killer rig. Um, see, this is a command button and with a triangle shape um, at the right side of the navel. Um, these are all just command buttons and let's check out the post library. Uh, the whole post library can be built up uh, within the picker file or picker node and um, uh, this post library is actually composed of several command buttons but this command button is just uh, carrying a post image and uh, they have some codes recording uh, the attribute and the values and they are just um, essentially they are just command buttons so um, with these command buttons you can build in uh, the post library so animator can open up your picker file and they are ready to use your post this is the beauty of the post library into the picker file okay uh, it's self-contained um, Let's see how to create a post button. Uh, first, we check out uh, how to create a post button without an image. Okay, um, so in this scene, I already create really, really simple uh, facial expressions for Mary Rick. Um, I just use this to demonstrate how to create uh, post buttons. Okay, um, so first, switch to the um, maybe go to the uh, facial camera and um, let's grab all these facial controls. Uh, first, uh, we want to create the button that I use to reset all the facial expressions. Okay, uh, so first we try, uh, let's go to the command button tool, which have a hotkey C. So we right click on this empty area and at post command button. Uh, it will pop up a dialog asking you the label of the command button. Let's say it's default. Okay. Um, so this is our little post button, and if we go to this post and click this, it will reset the post for you. So this is a post button without any um, preview image. Uh, it's still useful because uh, sometimes you need a reset all button and. Uh, there's already a command but, uh, button preset that uh, do uh, reset all function, but uh, it use the, f the, the way that it will iterate through all the attribute and reset it to rig default. But a rig default doesn't mean it's the uh, it should it, it shows you the default post, right? Sometimes the default value is not clean enough for a rig, uh, so uh, you use this post button, you just grab all the controllers and uh, make it a default 
become a, a reset all button. Reset facial. And you use Control R to scale it uh, to prefer size. So we got a um, button, and once you click it, uh, you know you will go to the default facial, right? Uh, this is another way to generate a reset all or reset facial command button. And uh, right now, uh, we have tried the command button without any icons. So let's uh, say how to, if I want to create the uh, command button like this, we just go to the still we need to grab all these controls, go to command button and post command button with icon prepare. So uh, you have to snapshot in order to generate that preview image, right? Uh, so we just uh, go to geometry and turn on this grid and that way we know that uh, to and we have a baseline to line up our 3D models. Um, we want the, this this border is actually the image border we're gonna create, and we are happy with this. And we have grabbed all the necessary controls to record the pose, and we go to the snatch and create. It still will pop up and ask you a label for the pose button. We still call it default. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, here we create the uh, post button, and we just continue. For this, um, the only controls we move is the mouse control. So we just want to grab the mouse controls. Okay. Um, so it's this, and we do that again. Uh, we just hit. No, uh, it's not repeatable. So we just. Uh, even in edit tool, and uh, it's also possible to create command button with icons. So we just um, we we don't need to actually tweak the three D camera since we have done that. We want to keep the same uh, camera camera views. So we just uh, continue and snapshot and create. But before that, just make sure that you grab the right controls, right? Um, so snapshot and create. And this is a smile, okay. And we got a smile post button, and we just continue. And this one, we just open the eyes, nothing, nothing more. So we just uh, grab this eye and eyebrow area and controls. We just um, again we go to the snapshot and create, and this is eye open. This is just for demonstration purpose. Uh, it's really uh, uh, simple. Okay, we have already created all these poses. We just turn off the 3D camera. Okay, uh, we got three buttons. Now you are free to line them up. Uh, we can use, you can align them using these features. Uh, line to top and distribute evenly. Okay. Um, this this is just a uh, a little I little tips for me. Uh, I always tint the uh, default post button uh, as kind of a special color. Here I I I, I tint the label into purple, so you can just uh, maybe make it more uh, noticeable and just cut the whole button into purple. So that way an uh, animator when uh, he try to find something to reset all he have done, uh, he just use this quick this purple button. It's um, easy to find. Um, this is the, another beauty of uh, using command button to build up your post library because you can really dig in and uh, customize the experience within uh, using this uh, parameters. Okay. Um, the default size for this post button is nail down. Uh, it's the size of 98 and 115. And the post button size, I mean, this default size can be set by the preference designer mode post button image size. And uh, th this this is actually the 
default image size and plus this label height and width uh, we got this size okay so uh, you can set up the preview image this icon size here if you want to create larger uh, post button you can just uh, set up a larger size here and the let's marking marking means here uh, marking to the edge, right? Uh, so you can customize a little bit for post icon post button here. Okay, so uh, using these te techniques, uh, you can build up the whole post library um, into your picker. And uh, the beauty of the the post button here, if you switch to the uh, preview tool. Say I want to just uh, dial in a little bit of this smile. So we just hold Control key and click a little. It will uh, apply this pose uh, gradually. And also right click on this on each post button. There's marking menu built in. Uh, you can tell that uh, there's a triangle here. Okay. Uh, for this, this marking menu, uh, there's a lot of features regarding of this uh, post data and how the post data are being used applied to the character. So you just try this all out and you, 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 uh, you, you may tell what, what does it mean uh, through these labels. I think it's pretty straightforward. Okay, this is all I, I want to mention about command button and let's move forward to attribute button. Okay, uh, this is Miguel Winfield. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Um, see ya.